Well, Indiana teachers and principals get new guidelines on how to handle the upcoming school year starting in a few months. Among the recommendations from the State Department of Education, required mass and physical distancing. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has details. When students return to school, what they learn may be the same, but how they learn will be different. We are preparing plans uh, on the full spectrum. They're trying to keep everybody safe. The Indiana Department of Education released some recommendations for how to go back to class. This includes requiring students and staff to wear cloth masks, enforcing frequent hand washing and physical distancing, and looking at optional educational programming alternatives, including have specific students in a school on specific days. We need to be consistent so that a student understands exactly what we expect them to do, uh, no matter where they're at, whether they're uh, at the elementary level or the high school level. Indiana Health Commissioner Dr. Christina Box says schools will work with local health departments on a best plan for each school. And Governor Eric Holcomb said level of infection may cause some schools to do more virtual learning next school year. Some superintendents say one challenge will be with school buses, where considerations include physically distancing students and adding more routes. A lot of our routes, elementary kids, we have three kids to a seat, uh, two high school kids to a seat. So it's going to cause us to do a lot of consideration as to what busing and transportation is going to look like. Superintendents say they're also trying to figure out how to have enough protective equipment and the cost of implementing those guidelines. EVSC officials tell us that they are reviewing the considerations announced today, but that they will still follow the guidance issued by Governor Holcomb and other state and local health agencies to ensure community safety. In Boonville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.